you find these nutrient solubilizing microbes in nature? You see this seal of the Mohenjo-daro, they have a huge respect they pay to the cow that's called the Brahman cow. Yeah, that's a species that is known as Bos indicus. Bos taurus is the western cow. It has a separate lineage. Bos indicus has got a separate lineage. A very interesting thing I'll share because I'm in an academic institution. The archaeology of the evolution of Bos taurus and Bos indicus is very interesting. You could Google this at some point. Bos taurus, if you go through layers of civilization from recent to old, Bos taurus in the oldest layers will appear as a wild animal. That means not domesticated. Its bones will appear in isolation to human bones. As you come closer to more recent times, you will start seeing some animal bone with human bones. That means that animal was from wild being slowly domesticated. As you come to the uh, more recent, you will find Bos taurus largely existing only as a domesticated animal. Bos taurus today is a completely domesticated animal. Yeah? You have some, some cows which uh, free graze, but they are still domesticated. Yeah? So they will, you will find their bones and human bones intricately, uh, intimately linked. You will never find them in the wild again. Yeah? Whereas Bos indicus, so far, all the excavations that have happened will show from the oldest bone of Bos indicus that has ever been found, it has been found with human bones. Till now, we do not have a shred of evidence to show that Bos indicus was ever a wild animal. It's very interesting for you to ponder on this, I mean, uh, and why it is like that. So, Bos indicus is a very interesting animal because its entire elementary canal is very different from Bos taurus. It's one and a half times longer and it has huge number of cul-de-sacs. Uh, it has like pouches all along the elementary canal. There are pouches with apparently no function, but they are full of microbes. Here is a bio essay that I'm presenting which takes in the TUs. TUs are taxonomic units of NSMs, nutrient, uh, um, nutrient solubilizing microbes. And if you take this, you will see how rich the TU pie chart for the Bos indicus cow dung is. Very rich. There is at least one family of microbes for every nutrient required by the plant. Which means, if these nutrients are established in the soil, your plant needs no additional fertilizer. Just like in the forest and whatever, it will grow. I work with 2.2 million farmers across the country, 22 lakh farmers across the country. They practice this. And they are practicing it sustainably. And what they produce is nutrition, not poison. 